Alright guys, welcome to a, another beer review. Doing this while I'm in a hangout, so hopefully going to keep it quick. And uh, yeah, today we're going back over to Germany to uh, a really prestigious brewery. And it is a beer that I have had before, but I've never got around to reviewing it. So we're going back over to the Weinstefana Brewery, or Brauerei. Uh, or I should say... Bayerische Stadt Brauerei Weinstefan. So it's a state brewery over in Freising. And uh, yeah, this is the Vitus Weizenbock. Clocking in at a very commendable 7.7% ABV. And ingredients are water, malt, malt, wheat, malt, barley, barley malt, hops, hops, I can't talk hops and yeast and uh, yeah so a very prestigious beer from a very very prestigious brewery um, obviously known for the Hifferweizen which not the biggest fan of wheat beers as you know but when the, like, they've got that doppelbock character or if they've been hopped or if they've been uh, fruit infused then I'm a little bit more partial to them but um, yeah pick this up in Booths at Salford in uh, Media City, UK, for three pounds something. So um, a lot more than you'd be paying for it back in Germany, of course. But um, yeah, not had anything resembling a Doppelbock for such a long time. And it's one of my favourite styles. And uh, yeah, fantastic looking artwork. I'm sure there is uh, historical significance to this beer, but I don't know it. Uh, offhand, so any reference materials will that will be included in the description should hopefully be able to clarify that. But uh, yeah, absolutely wonderful artwork, very traditional as you would expect from Germany. And there, after I nearly dropped the bottle, I've had a few drinks, so please bear with me. Is the Weinstefana Crown? So um, yeah, I've missed German beer so much since I've been back in the UK. And, you know, if I've got to pay a little bit extra for a high-quality beer, then so be it, do you know what I mean? After, after the experiences that I've had from living in Germany, access to these, like, world-renowned and prestigious beers from prestigious breweries for, you know, a euro, two euros at max. You know, it was absolutely breathtaking. It really, really was. Do yourselves a favour visit Germany, do yourself a bit of a beer haul, take two suitcases back with you so you can take some German beers back home because Germany's got probably the most prestigious and just satis most satisfying brewing culture in the world for me personally. So uh, yeah, so we're using my Schneiderweisser wheat beer glass which I've not used for such a long time, absolutely love this glass. So we shall see what we get. And I know already I've poured that slightly too aggressively. And it has been a long time since I've drank this beer. So I don't really know what to expect uh, revisiting it. But it's a lot paler than uh, I was expecting. I was expecting it to be a little bit darker. But yeah, golden, slight amber hues in there. That sort of like early morning sun look to it. Really active carbonation, nice clarity. Well, it, it's a little bit hazier, more in the bulbous part of the glass. Beer poured with just shy of four fingers worth of a immensely white, compact, fluffy head. And uh, yeah, even just looking at it like this, you know you've got a high quality German product. I uh, hope it translates well on camera, but um, yeah, it's taking me back. It really, really is. So hopefully I can get uh, an aroma from this. I kind of like Rice Krispies. Like that sort of like maize, like puffy rice cereal type character. A little bit of sweet to get on the nose. Got a very sort of like citrusy character. Reminds you of when you've uh, squeezed the lemon onto like a, a freshly fried schnitzel. You've got that sort of like batter, oily breadcrumb aroma in a really good way of course but that citrusy vibe just kicks in 
very bready, fluffy, you know, homemade white bread, a little bit of crust on there. As you will probably see throughout this review, I will overly romanticise this beer and German brewing culture in general because it, it holds a really special place in my heart. And yes, I am wearing a comedic, uh, trashy Christmas jumper because I was doing Christmas reviews today, but... Bready, yeasty. It's got like a real sense of warmth to it. It has that like lemon drizzle cake character, but not overly sweet. Muskiness. It just takes me back to being in Regensburg. It really, really is. Which, funny enough, Friesing isn't too far from Regensburg, and I always have to go to Friesing to get the bus to Munich Airport, so. You know, if you're travelling to Bavaria, check out Weinstefana. You know, there are so many fantastic brewing places to check out in the Bavarian region of Germany. Fantastic stuff. Absolutely wonderful beer. Got slight floral elements as well. Anyway, enough of the gassing. Let's get on with the tasting. Cheers. Or Prost. That like bready, yeasty, clovey, slight banana bread character is there. It's got that slight hefeweizen and uh, breadiness to it, but it's backed up nicely by a bold, multi crisp, ever so slightly sweet oatmeal sort of flavour. Nice citrusy zing throughout helps cut through that heaviness of the body. So it's got a level of crispness, but it's smooth at the same time, if that's even possible. So well balanced. You would not think that this is a 7 plus ABV beer. Drinking so easily. The only reason why you'd want to take your time with it is, for me specifically, wheat beers, they always feel a bit heavy on me. And they, they don't give me like stomach problems, but they... If I was to do a session on them, it would absolutely like destroy my stomach just because of like the, the genetic makeup of a wheat beer. There's just something in there that doesn't really agree with me. But thankfully, there's enough in there. It's got that like powerful like bock element to it, like that strength. But not in an alcoholic sense, if that makes sense. Sense twice in the same sentence. Flowery, you know, and you've got a, a way of bread and it's got flour sifted on top. It's got that character to it. It's doughy. I mean, it's not my my favourite type of bock, the Weizenbock. But it's like the best of both worlds to me. I mean, I absolutely adore Doppelbocks. They're probably one of my favourite, if not my favourite style. And that those wheat beer elements work well with that Doppelbock character. And it all comes together in a masterfully brewed, satisfying drinking experience. So although not my favourite sub-style, it's still hit and spot. Fantastic. I, I, I'm just transported to being back in Germany. Absolutely wonderful stuff. So I'll, I'll separate that sentimental aspect of the review. Don't get me wrong. I will always tackle beers objectively. Or as objectively as I can. But I mean, that, that's absolutely lovely. And this is the last beer of the night. And it's just that perfect beer to end on. Wonderful stuff. Really, really is. Far from perfect, but wonderful. So in terms of a rating then, on the Weinstefana Beatus, I'm going to give that one a very solid 8 out of 10. Uh, I think my favourite one that I've had, uh, the, the sort of like bites and box, doppel box that I've had from Weinstefana was the Corbinus, or Corbinius, I think it was. 
which that was fantastic. I mean, even the Bein Stefan Hippervitzen, far from my favourite style, but that's such a fantastic example of the style, and it's it's world famous for a reason. But this, that it's got that same that those same characteristics you get from the Bein Stefan Weizenbach. But it's just amplified it a little bit more. So yeah, 8 out of 10. So if you've tried it, of course, let me know your thoughts and opinions down below. Uh, check out my German wheat beer playlist. Check out my Doppelbot playlist. Some absolutely phenomenal beers in that playlist. Check out Weinstefana. A fantastic brewery. Uh, I just wish I'd have made the little pilgrimage to go to. Because I think they have like their own brewing college where a lot of the, the brewers in Germany go to, very highly regarded institution. And uh, yeah, just to try stuff like that on tap would just be... Yeah, you can have your trilliums, your, your, your Pliny the Elders, your tree houses, your other halves, all of these, you know, white whale breweries. Just give me stuff like that any day of the week. Germany best brewing country in the world by far and if you disagree with me then fair enough <laughs> you disagree with me but uh, yeah any comments feedback always welcome if any of my friends and fellow beer tubers have reviewed this one as I squash my eye then their links will be down below and more importantly I hope you'll join me next time for another beer review it's been really nice it genuinely has been really nice to revisit high quality German beer because I've been missing that so much so thank you for sharing this moment with me do you know what I mean that's that's what it's all about it's sharing the moment there's nothing excuse me there's nothing more satisfying as a beer tuber when you see another beer tuber really really enjoying a beer and um, yeah, it, it, it surpasses from just being just a beer, even though I'd make that argument that beer should just be beer. But when you drink something like this, you know, and you get involved in the hobby and the people, then, you know, there's real worth to it, if that makes sense. Anyway, before I start making you all cry and feeling emotional and sentimental, I'm going to cut it off here. And hopefully you'll join me next time. And maybe some more goggly eyes on a penguin in a party hat soon. See you guys later. Cheers. Prost. Auf Wiedersehen.